we have we have a special one today folks we've got cookies and milk no seriously um this package came in it's like 11 p.m but you know i want to open this this here it is man it's the best plate no i'm playing um this this is the jacket this is the uh, kerchief down jacket from visbin the jacket kanye drake pick your favorite um rapper may have this jacket really excited to to go ahead and open this one up after one cookie Alright, here's what it looks like. And nothing yet. <laughs> Alright. So if you've ever wondered what this retailed at three thousand three hundred and sixty dollars US dollars. I'm gonna pull the trigger. A, uh, made my account on their website, so they're just gonna charge that. One thing I note here is that they actually offered to, to sell this to me before it was listed online, so be sure to always pay attention to their drop lists if there's like a big grill that you want. So I'll show you guys when I get it. This is the packaging. Cardboard, uh, how do you say that? Construction paper, not construction paper. Brown paper um, in plastic. We have the sticker right here. It says uh, the product number, gray, size four, bizbim. Let's do it. I tried to film that so it was really satisfying to watch. Let me know if I, uh, if I succeeded. I just washed my hands. All right. Whoa. Whoa. First thing I noticed is there's much more detail in person than in the pictures I had them send me. And don't worry, in this whole video, you're gonna see shots of everything. Wow. So before I hold this up, a little context. Um, I, I got the email notification that they were dropping this pattern, you know, this design, I should say, um, on the first business day of 2021. I emailed the shop and said, hey, can you send me pictures of the size four in the gray color? They said they only had one and um, I thought on it a couple more days. This is, this is a serious amount of money. Um, I don't want to downplay that at all. This is, this is a crap ton of money. Um, so I thought on it and um, you know, I ended up deciding to pull the trigger. This is the only one in the size in the US or you know outside of Japan as far as I'm aware. Um, and they sent me some pictures, but wow, there is so much more detail than the, the low quality uh, you know shots above a desk that they sent me. Okay. Here we go, guys. First shot of the front and the sides. And the back. I'm gonna get some shots on body, get some close-ups and everything. But um, I just wanna share with you my first impressions and um, there are some tags that came with it. I'm gonna read through these, show you what we got. We have the FIL, Free International Laboratory, Indigo Camping Trailer Tag, um, size four, color gray. We have the Visbim Hologram in here as well. All the Japanese tags, Cubism Inc. This product utilizes numerous delicate fabrics in its construction. Please be aware of the following below for use. Um, show caution around sharp edges. Avoid intensive exercise in these. You know, don't run a marathon in these, please. Don't. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing with these. The inside feels like silk. Um, man, this is crazy. 
I will say the two reasons I was I was hesitating purchasing this piece was one, the price tag. Obviously, it's crazy, it's a crazy price. Um, two and a half reasons, I should say. The half reason is sizing. Um, you know, I own a size three in a Visvin product, and it fits like a U.S. medium. And I watched a video by Gizmo the Goat, and he said size four is kind of the size you want. You know, if you're a, an average tall, lean guy. So I want the size four. Hopefully, this is going to work out. And then that last reason um, was because they released another one of these from the Indigo camping trailer line, and they must have sold out before they went online, similar to how I purchased this one, or it must have never gone online on the US web shop. It has this beautiful design, it's like the same bandana print as that shirt I own that I've done a video on. And you know, I was just kind of regretted not getting that piece and you know, I was having second thoughts about buying this design specifically, but ultimately decided, you know, this, um, you know, there's so few of them, there, there's a lot of scarcity and um, I may not get another opportunity to buy it. A design that I really like. In addition to those tags, like I said, it came with this little bag, this little pouch. Let's see what's inside. My guess was maybe, um, oh, okay, we have a flip book. Oh, whoa, whoa. On the very front, so right here, well, maybe it's on the back, I guess, because, you know, in Japanese books, you flip opposite. Um, but here on the back it says, how does one create truly great products that are both timeless and authentic? I'm not going to read this here, but I will post pictures to my Instagram. So be sure you're following me at pass.fordstyle. I'll be sure to post those. And um, I'm assuming this is extra fabric. Let's take a look. Without further ado, I'm going to give you guys some close-up shots of this. We're going to look at it on body and talk a little bit about the feel of the materials. How does the garment feel on body? What is the fit like and why is it so expensive? I asked VizVim that last question and they told me that Hiroki Nakamura himself, the founder of VizVim, designed this jacket from the yarn up. He chose the yarn. He hand drew this pattern, which they printed on their own bandana fabric. There are custom buttons. It's filled with white Polish goose feathers. That white color is preferred over gray feathers as when light shines through the garment, it's not going to reflect a dingy gray color. Um, nothing uh, other than that is special compared to the gray feathers. And from Google, I learned Poland's just one of the two European countries known for producing goose feathers. The fit is slightly oversized, I wanna note here. Even across Visvim kerchief down jackets, every release you need to check those measurements, they will vary slightly. Personally, I think this one probably could have been a half inch to an inch shorter for me personally. I don't know if the three would have done it though, it may have been a little small in the chest for me, so I still prefer the four. Um, but I would note also that this is not a jacket you should be wearing when the weather is under 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's going to keep you warm despite how thin it is, but you know, on a cold winter day, you probably need to swap to something else with a liner or a heavier coat. I styled this with dark and light jeans. I tried it on with the Visvim Grizzly as well as the Visvim Cristo. I think there are many ways you can wear this, but it's going to, to take over your outfit. I'm going to wear this with uh, neutral uh, garments, uh, you know, from a design perspective as well as a color perspective. And with that being said, folks, if you've made it this far into the video, please hit a subscribe button, hit a like button for your boy. I'm happy to answer any questions in the comments and have a great rest of your day.